Okay, so uh, my partner makes a fist, and what I want to do is grab his fist and uh, and rotate. So he he stretches towards me a little bit, drops his hip, grounds, comes underneath me, and floats. Okay, so now he's underneath, and I'm the feeder. He's the assured. Now from here, I want to just twist a little bit to the left and the right. You keep stretching through me. Yep, that's it. And as I twist to the left and the right, he's going to feel strength and weakness around his joints. So I want to start twisting the, the wrist joint and he stretches through me and he's sensitive. Now there'll be places in his body where he's going to feel pain, there'll be places where he's going to feel grounded strength. And what I want to do is I want to find all the weaknesses in his body and get him to feel them. So I start with the wrist, twisting side to side. We're choosing this line because this is the Wing Chun Tai Chi punching line. If you was a boxer or, or someone who liked to punch horizontally, we would do it from there. And what this does is I've got to repair and show him his alignment to the ground and he has to maintain a sensitivity. Now, now he knows what to, what to work with. So I start with the wrist side to side. Then I connect my mind to his elbow and I pull his elbow side to the side and I keep that stretch in there. And there's, there's a diagonal. I've got this corner, this corner, this corner, this corner. So I'll go into this line and then I'll go into that line. And then as I'm rotating through, I'll put pressure across those lines. And he just stretches and opens everything up so he can feel any vulnerability in that line. Then I'll go to his shoulder and I'll cross his shoulder one side to the other. And uh, from there I'll go onto the scapula and I'll pull the scapula one way and I'll stretch the scapula the other way. And if he's stretching inside his body, I've got to, I, I can talk his stretch. And all he has to do is decide what line of power he wants to use for that particular movement. So now I'll go down to his lower back and I'll just pull across his, his lower back. And uh, this uh, kidney area and that, that crust from under the ribs to the hips, just pull across those lines. And then wrap around, I'll work his front hip. So if you do this, presuming you're doing more of a jabbing style of, of punch, now I'll pull the inside and then drag the outside. And the inside drag the outside, and then the knee. So I've got to get down to the knee, tap the knee, and then once I've got the knee, then pull it, and pull it, and then pull across the knee. So we're, we're drawing an X from one side of the knee to the other, just slightly torquing the knee. Then I go down to his ankle and foot, and I look at the inside of the ankle, draw it in, outside of the ankle, pull it across. Now, for, for me as, as, a, as a feeder, I'm getting a lot of listening skill happening here. Crossing the joints is a really important way of intercepting, cutting off people's energy. So every time I'm doing this and feeling the zigzag in his body, he's power stretching out and going, ah, I've got to fix something on the inside of this elbow or on the outside of that elbow. That, that tension that he feels uh, and that reaction to, to, the, to the crossing of the, of the energy um, he'll go to his journal and write, okay, I've got to work on my elbow, I've got to work on my hip, I've got to work on whatever part of the body it is. And then from there, we look at that alignment and then we start opening that joint up and closing it and developing talking forces off it. So if let's say he's got, a, got something funky happening on the back of his hip, we'll do the power stretch, throw, grounding off the hip and then connecting it into the core so that that area gets opened loose. We'll do power stretches in there, physical stretches in there, and loosen that area up. And then when you're doing issuing, you pay more attention to that alignment and building that alignment up and correcting it. So this exercise, very, very good for, for uh, stabilizing structure, increasing the, um, the, the uh, connection of the facial web, and uh, getting more connected mass. And when you hit a heavy target, there's force which travels down back through your body and it will branch out off the joints. We want to stop that branching out and keep the reverberation going straight into the fascia, straight into the connected mass, so we continue to generate more outward power on, at the point of impact. So there's more reflection, less power loss, means you get more increased power in your, in your punch. 
This is very, very good for health as well because these little imbalances across the joints are going to give people niggling pain. It imbalances their mind, it imbalances their emotions. So they become more physiologically, emotionally, psychologically more stable when you balance all these, these points out. Okay, thanks for your time and uh, have fun training.